Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, and I'm here with my friend Ben. Hello. My new Twitch affiliate friend Shay. Hello. And my also Twitch affiliate friend Blake. Hello. So make sure you check out their Twitch channels. This is our Commander Show. It's brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code WORST and you can get a discount on all of your orders from CoolStuffInc.com and show support for the show at the same time. And we are here to play some more sweet commanders. We've got stuff from the new set. And uh, for our rule zero, we like to introduce the worst possible thing that we're going to do to all of our friends. And I am playing Unctus, the Grand Metatect. This is a new blue commander with a sweet ability that says that when other blue creatures become tapped, I can draw a card and then discard a card. I like drawing cards. I love the idea of drawing cards just for tapping creatures. That might make me play creatures in my deck. That kind of stuff is exciting. <laughs> so I have all kinds of ways to trigger off of drawing cards. I have Psychosis Crawler, so you don't lose a life when I draw a card. I have Fairy Vandal, it gets bigger when I draw my second card each turn. I've got all kinds of cards that say when you draw your second card each turn, you get a cool thing. The deck doesn't have Thassa's Oracle or any draw your deck combo wins. The deck doesn't have any infinite mana combos like uh, Dramatic Reversal and Isochron Scepter. But I'm telling you guys straight up because you, Ben, listen, listen good. You need to know this. If I'm drawing a bunch of cards, I'm going to kill you. I don't know how, but I'm gonna somehow do the things that I do when I get long turns and a whole bunch of cards and I'm going to win. So if you can beat me before that happens, you probably should. <laughs> so that people in the comments don't, you know, feel like they have to rage on me for another week. <laughs> there is one infinite potential combo. If I have my commander on the board and I have Clever Conjurer and Kelpie Guide both without summoning sickness, they can untap each other over and over, and I can draw and discard my whole deck. How will yes. I win if I do that? I don't know, because like I said, there's no oracle, <laughs> but I'm just telling you it could happen. You'll find a way. Oh yeah, the worst thing that'll happen is you'll have to watch me figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, I'll find it, I always do. Ben, what have you brought, and what's the worst possible thing it's going to do? I'm sure a lot of you will either really hate me for this commander, or really love me, probably hate me though. I'm playing Sliver Queen. Oh man. Do you have other slivers? It, you know it. Oh. I was hoping this was the- uh, <laughs> The Ben Special. Yeah, the Ben Special. <laughs> yeah. No more slivers in your deck. That's it. No, I got I got a big old pile of them. Wow. Yeah. This, is, this looks like like 30 some slivers. It is wow. 30 some slivers. Wow. So <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, classic slivers. Yeah. They just give each other abilities and then you kill us. Yep, that's how they work. <laughs> All right, anything to add to that, or is that just the worst possible? Is that you actually get to cast all your slivers and that, we that die? That is it, yeah. I have, it. I have other spells to help them. Love it. You're a hero to the sliver stands across the world. Yes. Shay, what have you brought with you, and what is the worst possible thing you're going to do to us? Yeah, today I brought Rhea Ivor, Bane of Bladehold. Um, she is from the new set. She's a Phyrexian Knight, and she costs two and Orzov. Um, she has Battle Cry, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, the next time target creature would deal combat to one or more players this combat, prevent that damage. If damage is prevented this way, create that many 1-1 colorless Phyrexian Might artifact creature tokens with Toxic 1, and this creature can't block. Let me give it a shot. Mm -hmm. You maze of ith your own creature, kind of. Like your commander maze of ith's your own creature. It's not actually going to deal damage. Mm -hmm. And then you get a whole bunch of one ones. Yes, exactly. That have toxic. Yes. And can't block. Yes. And that thing has battle cry, so they hit harder. Yes. So you're going to make a whole bunch of creatures. Yes. Why? I, I, is this deja vu? I feel <laughs> like we, we do this all the time. Okay. I love creatures. Um, okay, so with. Hopefully, my army of mites, uh, something like Nettle Cyst would be very helpful and is part of my worst possible. It's got living weapon, equipped creature, gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control. So that would make something very, very chunky and potentially really helpful for making more mites if you know, I give it the Rhea Ivor ability. And then also here I have an Eldrazi Monument, giving everything plus one, plus one, flying and indestructible, which means I can just swing out with my army um, with reckless abandon. Blake, you're, uh, besides all this sass, what's the worst possible thing you That's can do it. to us? <laughs> Other than the sass, I'm playing Urtet Remnant of Memnarch. So I've got lots of mirrors in the deck. 
We're gonna play a whole bunch of mirrors. We are going to ramp into more <laughs> mirrors. And then we're gonna use those mirrors to mirror my friends. It's gonna be great. In addition to that, we have two cards that double my tokens because Urtep makes a lot of tokens. And I'm going to kill Shay with my Triumph of the Hordes. <laughs> In one of, I'm gonna keep putting it in decks until I kill Shay with it. Hey man, I, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. Oh, and then my other great card in this deck is gonna be Organic Extinction, which destroys all the non-artifact creatures on the battlefield. Shay is loving this. Shay doesn't mind that, but it's good against you Indestructible and you. Slivers might be loving yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> Indestructible's not his commander, at least, so. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna uh, see. Oh my gosh, so. You have mirrors? Mirrors. Mirrors. Mirror deer. And you have lights. Yeah. And you have slivers. And I have blue. <laughs> Tab, draw a card, discard a card. <laughs> that is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to enjoy this. Let's dive in. <laughs> Let this nonsense begin. All right, we got our hands, we rolled the die. Shay, take it away. Okay, we'll draw for turn. We're gonna go planes and pass. All right, draw for turn. We're gonna play a tapped steam vents and pass. Draw for turn, play a lonely island. <laughs> and pass to Ven. I'll play a taiga and I'll tap it for a striking sliver, which gives all my slivers or sorry, Slivers I control, mm. first strike. Shay, your turn. Okay, we're gonna draw. We'll play City of Brass. We'll tap it for a black and take one damage for a Corpse Knight. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. Uh, then I pass. All right, draw for turn. Gonna play a Tropical Island. I'm gonna cast a Copper Mirror. It's a one one that taps for a green. Go ahead, CGB. No big deal, no just, big deal. Just a little buddy. All right, draw for turn. I'm gonna play Island. Gonna cast Merchant Scroll, search my library for an instant or interrupt. Reveal that card to all players. All right, I've fetched Engulf the Shore. This is a four mana instant that returns to the owner's hand all creatures with toughness less than the number of islands I control. Go ahead, Ben. I'll play an Underground Sea. I'll tap two for a gem hide Sliver. Which all slivers have tap, add one mana of any color. Oh, don't be looking over Is here. Is that a 1-1? One, one, yeah. I'm gonna attack you with first strike 1-1. One, one. Or, yeah, what now? No blocks. Okay. Ow, dude. Whoa. Shall not be forgotten. Okay. The tears of the mirrors, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I will untap, draw, play Swamp. Tapping three, taking one from City of Brass. And that's to cast Law Shield, Clockwork Scholar. Uh, this is a 2-4, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking artifact creatures you control. Whenever one or more artifact creatures enter the battlefield under your control, draw a card. This ability triggers only once each turn. Thank God. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, and I do have a Corpse Knight trigger. Everybody Boing. loses one, except for me. Ben, swinging two at you. Okay, I'll take it. Pass to Blake. All right, we're gonna untap, draw for turn. Going to play a flooded strand, I'm gonna crack that bad boy. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Ba -da -na 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 -na. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> -na 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 -na. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, and then I'm gonna tap three, and I'm gonna play a palladium mirror, which taps for two colorless. And then I shall pass. Untap, draw, drop a basic island, and I'm done. Boo. Okay. Go on. <laughs> Zip. Draw. I'm gonna play this Tundra. I'm gonna tap five and play my Sliver Queen. She big. Do it, CGP. Okay. Do what? Don't counter that. Engulfing shorts. <laughs> I, I, that costs four and it won't hit the Sliver Queen until I have seven islands, dude. <laughs> right, and then I will pass. Okay. I'll play Karns Bastion. Tapping four, taking one from City of Brass to cast Rhea Ivor, Bane of Blade Hole. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Everybody takes one from the Corpse Knight trigger. Boink. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna move to combat. Jay's battle station is uh, coming online. Mm-hmm. So, moving to combat, I'm gonna swing both Law Shield and Corpse Knight at CGB, and I'm gonna trigger, I'm gonna target Law Shield with Rhea's ability. Okay, so that one's not gonna hurt me. Yep. And the Corpse Knight will, so I'll take the two from there. And then the other two gets prevented by your commander, so you make two, two mites. mites. Yes, and so an artifact has entered the battlefield under my control, so I'll draw off of Law Shield. And then Corpse Knight will also trigger twice. So we all lose two more. Yes. Jeez, a Pete, dude. It's happening. Yeah, Corpse Knight grows. <laughs> and now I will pass the turn. I'm gonna play a Polluted Delta, and I'm gonna crack that bad boy. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Do you guys know uh, Mario's favorite pants? What? His favorite kind of pants? Mm -hmm. Overalls? Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> <laughs> that was funnier than I thought it'd be. Holy cow. <laughs> I've been murdered. <laughs> that was good. Oh, man. I'm glad you like that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get a land that is what I call uh, CGB's house. I'm going to get a scrub land. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tap three, four, five for a Vanquisher's Banner. Oh, that card seems good. Thanks for calling us Scrubland. Here is your Hardcast Fierce Guardianship. <gasps> I had a feeling you were gonna knock on anybody else's stuff. All right, fair I enough. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, it's non creatures. I know, it feels yeah. bad, man. Yeah. All right, that's all right. Countered successfully. I'm going to play a Mana Crypt. Ooh, ah. And I'm going to cast Urtet. Okay. And then I'm going to go to combat. It's going to untap this guy. I am going to get CGB for two. All right, I'll take two. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap, I'll draw. Play an island for turn. I'm done. <laughs> Play a windswept heath. I'll crack and sack it, or sack and crack it, whatever way you do it. Okay, the Ketria Triumph will go onto the battlefield tap. I'll tap five yet again to play the first sliver on the stack. So Cascade Trigger. Okay. There we go. Har that's a good Ooh. one. Harmonic Sliver. When, when this permanent per enters the battlefield. Yeah, go on. All slivers have whenever this permanent enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Love it. So that comes in and triggers. You know what, Blake? I'm going to save you some life. Okay. Boom, Mana Crypt. Okay, thank you. Wait, yeah. You're welcome. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then the first sliver will enter, and that will... I don't want to deramp it too hard. But... But your commander's gonna have to go. Sure thing, all right, <laughs> commander dies. Like, I did a lot to you with that artifact enchantment. Oh, I was there. That's yeah, all right, though, You were, yes. No, that's all right. 7-7 seven, seven, Sliver Queen coming at CGB. <laughs> right. What about, we have to keep in mind, Shay's really scary. We're kind of leaving her alone right now. Yeah, now. I take it down to 25. I don't feel bad. Then I will pass the turn. I'll start by playing Buried Ruin. That's my land for turn. I'll pay four for Alenda the Dusk Rose. All right. That's a fun one. That is a fun one. Um, that's gonna trigger Corpse Knight, hitting everyone for one. Yeah. All right. Move to combat. All right, so I'm gonna attack Blake with Rhea and my Corpse Knight. And then I'm gonna send my Mites to Ben. And so I will be targeting Rhea with Rhea's ability. And there's also the battle cry trigger, so everything gets plus one plus oh, that is attacking. Correct. Other than Rhea, so I will be taking three? Yes. Okay, so then, yep, you'll be taking three from the Corpse Knight. Okay, cool. And then Ben, those are two, two, two with toxic one. Two, two, two. <laughs> They're two ones, two ones. Two, two ones, yes. I'll block this one and take that one. 
Okay. All right, so you have the three prevented damage from your commander, which makes three mites? Three more mites, yep. Okay. Yeah, so I had three creatures enter the battlefield just now, which is gonna be three Corpse Knight triggers. Ow. No. And then I'll also get to draw one off of my Law, law Shield. Sweet, I think that's all the things. Was that it? So I'll pass. Okay. You're gonna play an Arid Mesa. Crack that bad boy. All right, I got a Tundra. Tundra. Thank gosh, I was worried. <laughs> all right, Ben. I won't kill your harmonics liver if you stop targeting my stuff with it and start killing mites. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. That's probably gonna do that anyway, but okay. I figured, but <laughs> I'm gonna spend one, two, three, four, five, four Urtet. And then we're gonna go to combat where these two are going to untap. But wait, there's more. We're gonna go one, two, three for Mir Custodian, which is a new card from the set. When Mir, it's a two, three, Mir. When Mirror Custodian enters the battlefield, I scry two. Then each opponent may scry one. You don't have to, though. It's up to you. <laughs> I'll scry two, though. Wait, that's it? <laughs> There's no disadvantage for us scrying? No, you just get to. Okay. Oh, what a bizarre may. I'm yeah, scrying. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'll yeah. scry. Because <laughs> you don't have to, it's a may. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. I'm going to put that on the bottom. I don't think you guys get what mays are. That's a, that's a month after April, right? Stupid. <laughs> Painfully stupid. <laughs> I'm next to a calendar wizard. <laughs> <laughs> calendar wizard. Dude's a freaking genius. You put both these bad boys on the bottom. And then I'm gonna pass the turn to CGB. On your end step, uh -huh. I'm going to cast an Archmage's turn, targeting myself to draw two cards. Nice. I'm going to play an island. That's good. You, you, you think you know me or something. <laughs> I'm done. God, this is when CGB is at his most annoying, bro. Yeah. So let's play, play the game. Island. I'm done. Pass the turn. I, you guys are doing everything you could want to do. I, I, I love. Have, I have interfered with only you. <laughs> True? True? Okay, I'll, I'll draw that card I scribed to the top. Thanks, Blake. Hey, dude. You were going to draw it anyway, so you might as well use the May. I'm going to play a telekinetic sliver. So that says all slivers have tap to tap target permanent. Turn some all into oppositions. That's pretty, very good. Pretty fun. All right, so trade Cascade, yeah. Three or less. Oh, Crypt Sliver. All creatures have, all slivers, sorry, not creatures. Tap, regenerate target sliver. Nice. Seems That's good. That's very bad for the board wipes. <laughs> Enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Uh, goodbye, not tap, might. Uh, trigger Alendra. Uh, yes, oh, because yeah. it died, so it gets a 1-1 one, one counter. All right, uh, the telekinetic sliver enters the battlefield. Harmonic sliver trigger. Mm-hmm. Bro. Next might. Okay. <laughs> we made a deal. <laughs> so I'll just look at your board. That's scary. Oh, life's just flash casually. before my eyes, bro. Yeah. So might dies and Alinda gets another trigger, or another counter. I really like this cascading, guys. I think I'll do it again. Wing sliver. Oh. All slivers gain flying, but first, cascade for a one for or zero a one. mana. Mystical Tutor. So, uh, yeah, search your library okay. and put an instant or sorcery on top. You do have to reveal it. That's fine. So I got a card we've already seen, Fierce Guardianship. Okay, <laughs> that goes on top of your library. Oh, yeah. Get it out of your Sorry, <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Okay, and then Wing Sliver enters the battlefield. Yep. Might. See ya. Goodbye. Another 1-1 one, one on Alinda. Okay, I'll move to combat. Shay, take two 7-7s. Seven they, they all have flying in them. Oh no. Oh my. Okay. And 7 Commander as well. Yep. Mm-hmm. Brutal, brutal, brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's 14. Your turn, Shay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I've got to engulf the shore at some point. Yep. I think we can both agree that Ben's the problem mm -hmm. now and will be a problem after because I won't be able to get these two. Uh, if true. I do it now, you get a chance to rebuild mm -hmm. instead of like doing it at your end step and then you're behind and he just beats you to death. And I think I might need your help a little. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
this a conspiracy against me? A little. <laughs> just a little. CGB just wants to scry again. A little yeah. conspiracy. Yeah, exactly. A little conspiracy. Absolutely. What I'll how I'll make it worth your while, Shay, is if you attack like somebody with the Alendra or something to just gain some life and that someone isn't me, I'll just cast Engulf at like the end of combat so you gain some life and then you can start rebuilding. Okay, so you're saying if I go to combat, you'll engulf the shores after if I don't do the Rhea business. Yep. Because then Corpse Knight will trigger. Yeah. How are you making it worth my while? I'm not. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> no, I, just, I don't just really checking. care how you feel. No, I'm just, I'm just checking. Okay. Okay, just take the deal. <laughs> I know. All right, moving to combat. I'm going to send Alenda to Blake, and then I'm going to send the Mites to Ben. Just realized I should have made a 1-1 one, one Mir token with Urtet, so I'm not going to block. Oh, do you want it? That's well, a little late now. It hasn't really done in like the board hasn't. All right, I'll take has my mirror token. Has nothing to do with the mirror token. Then I'll throw it in yeah, front. Yeah, have your mirror token. Mirror. There are Sorry, people everybody. in comments that want this mirror. They've they already want, yes. talked about it. They've endlessly. they're already mad. There's already a thread about who's mad at who for bringing up the mirror. Get off Reddit. And how about you, Ben? What are you blocking? I block one of the mites with a telekinetic sliver. All right, the other gets through. Yep, I'll take one. Right. Mm -hmm. And poison. Poison. <laughs> and the mites don't die because uh, damage is prevented. Yes, and also Alenda gets a 1 1 counter from the Myrrh that blocked. It's because not any creature. Whenever is it? Another, another creature, creature dies. dies. Yeah, oh, it does, does That's it? That's good. Hmm. All right, at the end of combat, after damage, but before your next main phase, because I have to do this when I have priority, mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Engulf the Shore, so everything with five toughness or less goes back to its owner's hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's gonna start corpse knighting again. But That's my guess. It is what it is. <laughs> Two for corpse knight. How'd I know? Yeah. Three, taking one from City of Brass for Law Shield again. We all lose one. Yes. Beam. Now I have to discard down to hand size. Okay, so I'm gonna discard Yogma, Thran oh. Physician and Keskit, the Flesh Sculptor. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play my boy Urtet with a little backy pack. Mm -hmm. And nice. then, you know him, you love him, Copper Mirror, mm -hmm. and I get a token. Comes right out of his backpack, and I'm gonna pass. All right, untap, draw. Going to play an island. Gonna do this before that Fierce Guardianship ends up in hands. I'm gonna cast a Windfall. How many cards you got, Ben? Oh, no. No. Yes. I yes, nine. Ben. Oh, get wrecked, Ben. Nine? Let's go. Nine? Uh, I had a deflecting swat in my hand. <laughs> oh. And that you doesn't change help. the target? It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's why it doesn't work. Yeah. I'm like, if you bounce it, I can do something. But Ben, you you seem frustrated. A little bit. Ben, do you need a hug? Aren't sliver plays, players always frustrated? <laughs> yes. It yes. explains a lot. And, well, it results for me. All right. So we discard our hand and draw nine. Yep. Okay, and if you're discarding your commander, it can be put in the command zone if yes. you like. Yes. Well, I just don't want Ben to attack me. So here's a phantasmal image of the first sliver, but it's not going not to cascade Ooh. because it's not a sliver when it's on the stack. But I have a 7-7. Seven, seven. So. Nice. Actually, I was gonna say hold on. Rather, yeah. No, because that would give all slivers double cascade. Yes. What it, about? Oh wait, it does say silver spells you cast have cascade. It's yeah. fine. Wouldn't yeah. you rather have the queen though, so you have like the option to make creatures? What if I draw a sliver? Shoot, you got me. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, sliver queen. Sliver queen. That was a good point. This is a sliver queen. Can I get an infinity token? Just write sliver queen on it, so they know what it is. Uh, move to end step. Discard island. Go ahead, Ben. I'm gonna play sliver hive lord, indestructible dude. Oh baby. And it does work out. I checked. <laughs> Cascade. Yep, here we go. I Thought wish I Vessel, could yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like that Corpse Knight, Jay. <gasps> what? Indirect damage is not Sliver's friend. What? I'm gonna attack you for 14. <laughs> Ooh. Can you leave me alone if I block with the Corpse Knight? I do it for one turn. For one turn? Yeah, next turn I won't. I won't do anything to your board. Cool. Or That's... face. Yeah, <laughs> or my face. <laughs> or your face. Okay. Sweet, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna block the Sliver Queen with Corpse Knight. Okay, and then I'll take seven from the other Sliver. 
I will then pass. Pay one for a soul ring. Spooky soul ring. What else you got Wednesday, Adams? <laughs> um, I'm going to then. All right, tap in six to cast my commander. I will um, target Law Shield with Rhea Ivor's ability and attack CGB for two. I will not block. Excellent. No damage is done to you, and I will make two mites. And an artifact entered the battlefield, so I will draw off of Lost Shield. Now I need to discard down a hand size. Uh, okay, I'm discarding a swamp and Grateful Apparition and passing to Blake. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, four, Brutaclad, Telcor Engineer. Derpawa? I know. It's a four, four. Creature tokens I control have haste. At the beginning of combat on my turn, create a 2-1 blue Phyrexian Mirror artifact creature token. Then you may choose a token I control. If I do, each other token I control becomes a copy of that token. All right, I'm gonna move to combat. Urtet's gonna untap my boy Copper Mirror. I'm gonna get a 2-1 with haste. And that's all I got. I'm gonna move to the end of my turn or I'm gonna discard only one card to hand size. Ooh. I'm gonna discard a Temple Garden. I'm going to play an island for turn. I'm going to cast a Springleaf Drum. I can tap an untapped creature for mana of any color. I'm going to cast Min the Wily Illusionist. Ooh. This says whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 1-1 one, one blue illusion creature. And this creature gets plus one plus zero for each other illusion you control. And then whenever an illusion I control dies, I may put a permanent card with mana value less than or equal to its power from my hand onto the battlefield. Then I'm going to tap three for my commander, Unctus in the house. So now other blue creatures have, whenever this card becomes tapped, I draw a card and I discard a card. I'm going to make a blue mana with Min, the Wily Illusionist, which will create a draw and discard a card and I will discard this island. I will now trigger and make an illusion, which will be this Covert Go Blue Shark token. And this is a 1-1 one, one right now because it's the only illusion. I have a blue in my mana pool. What I'm gonna do is, I don't, like, you're right. I've targeted you more than I wish I could, oh, and I don't even cool. think you're the problem. He is the problem, but stuff's indestructible. And I'm not trying to mess with Shay right now because we need her help. What if I make his stuff less indestructible? Can you do it right now? Sure can. I Because I can turn something into a certain frog lizard. And I was going to just target oh, my own illusion. Lizard? Yeah, dude, I got you. But I you can ready? all, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Scrubland, path to exile, targeting your sliver high boy. Uh-oh. You gonna use it? You gonna use it? You gonna use it? You using it? <laughs> the Hive Lord? No, the Fierce Guardian. No, but you're targeting the Hive Lord. Hive Lord is targeted by the path to yeah. exile. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, you're gonna let two of your slippers die. Two of them. It's getting to, no. One for now. One for now. One for now. All right. All right, you were gonna hmm. write the frog lizard. I don't like frog lizards. Okay, what? fine, fine, fine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fierce guardian. I don't know if you should be allowed to do that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. All right. Which for free, because you control commander. Congratulations, you've taken two fierce guardianships in one game. <laughs> sure did, dude. <laughs> Feels bad. That's all right. This side of the table is fierce. Am I right, Ben? Yeah. Am I right, buddy? <laughs> you weren't even going to cast it, were you? <laughs> I still have to cast it. I yeah, have the mana yeah, in yeah. the mana pool. I'm, I'm going to rapid hybridize my own illusion. So this is going to kill it and create a 3-3 frog lizard. I'll use this Phyrexian Beast token from the latest set. It's basically Frog Lizard. And it says when the illusion dies, you can put a permanent card with mana value less than or equal to its power from hand on the battlefield. Power was one. So I'm gonna put out this island. That's what I got, I'm done. I'm gonna tap three for a Chromatic Lantern. Boom. No cascade, because that is not a sliver. Thank God you don't have to think <laughs> about colors with those lands anymore. I know, right? I'm gonna play this Arid Mesa and crack and sack it. Why not? You can just tap it for any color. True. Might lose the life. That, that is a good point, actually. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll just keep that Arid Mesa. Yeah. Tap two for a hibernation sliver. Each sliver gains pay two life, return this creature to the, its owner's hand. Oh, I love it. Cascade. Cascade, yes. 
Nope, that's definitely not it. <laughs> nope. We're looking for a one or a zero non land. This is gonna be if a while. If we just ben, pick up a handful and just go. Ben Jesus, yeah. if we're gonna go through oh. your whole deck this way, I might explode. There we go. Enlightened tutor. Of course it is. <laughs> oh wow. Tutor, tutor, tutor. Got the Lightning Greaves on top of the library. Classic. Opaline Sliver. All slivers have whenever this creature becomes a target of a spell and opponent controls, you may draw a card. Great. Cascade. Wow. Oh, look it. at look at that, guys. Whoa. It's Whoa. Lightning Greaves. Oh my god. Who would have guessed? This is kind of scary. I'm going to equip that to my commander. Okay. Who Hands off. Who would have guessed? Hands off the queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do whatever makes you happy, Ben. And I'll do the same. How's yeah? that sound? Yeah. I think this will make us both happy. Oh, God. <laughs> I like that. 14 at CGB. <laughs> okay. Well, I am well. happy. You were right. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Yeah, um, so I am going to put the 3-3 Frog Lizard in front of one of the slivers, and I'm going to put the Phantasmal Image in front of the other. Okay. Okay? You take no uh, damage. Yep, but before damage, I'm going to use your Hibernation Sliver to pay two life to return my Phantasmal Image to my hand. Whoa. Mm. And I'm done. Go ahead, Jay. Okay. Okay, so I'm tapping six with the City of Brass, so I take damage. For Necropolis Regent. Ooh. It's a flying 6 5. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put that many 1 1 counters on it. Okay, I'm also going to pay one for a Blade of the Blood Chief, which says whenever a creature dies, put a 1 1 counter on equipped creature. If equipped creature is a vampire, put two 1 1 counters on it instead. Uh, I'll tap one to equip it to the, my Necropolis Regent. Oh my, so anything that dies, any of your creatures that dies? Whenever a creature dies. A creature dies. My Necropolis Regent will get two 1-1 one -one counters. The question is, do I have any good attacks? Not really. We, we, we had an understanding. Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Do we have an understanding? We don't have an understanding. Oh. But. Can we reach one? I mean, I think you can block my Things That's anyway, a good understanding, you know? yeah. I'd block them. Like I would just lose things, potentially. Well, you could let her dish out some her commander's ability. In fact, I'll offer this. Like if you want to dish out your commander's ability to your biggest thing and hit one of us for no damage and make the mites, but you will only use them on this one, yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah, but when those get done being used on this one, they get start getting used on that one. Well, by then we can figure out how to solve it, but if we don't solve this, we're going to die to this That's first. That's fair. I, I have some... All right. Hey, you don't have to make the deal. Yeah, you make I'm the deal, offering. Buddy. No, you offer. <laughs> offer it up, dude. Excellent. Well, I think the strongest creature I can attack with is my commander. Um, so I will target Rhea with her ability and swing at CGB for three. You're good. No blocks. Cool, that's three mites. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and I'll draw one off of Lashiel. Is that all the things? It was a lot of things. I think it's all the things. Go cool ahead. Cool beans. And on tap. Um, I'm gonna move to combat. Going to make a dude. Another two one. Another two one mirror with haste. Okay. And then I'm gonna move to my end step. I'll say this, CGB, real quick before you make any moves. If you're planning to work on your board, I have a spell I can cast that you might want me to cast before you start developing your board that I would prefer you let resolve because your board's not massive. You don't say. If that makes sense. We would have never guessed. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what. I just wanted to extend that to you because <laughs> I feel like we're friends. I feel like we're friends too. So. You let me know if that's what you're planning and we can... If, if I'm planning to put stuff on my board? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> oh, is that what you're planning? Plan okay. I, 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 I mean, yeah, if I have an option of you do it now, but I let it resolve, like, I'll, I'll take that's the now. The main thing. Okay. Yeah, now's good. Well, cool. Look at this, guys. I'm going to tap seven mana. I'm going to overload a Cyclonic Rift. Okay. Uh... I have a response of tapping Close. my Min Wily Illusionist to make a blue mana and draw a discard with my commander. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to discard a fabricate. Ben, responses? Nope. No responses. Jay, nothing. Nope. All right, scoop them. 
I did have a min trigger it, because I drew my second card. It made an illusion, but the illusion only triggers when it goes to the graveyard. So it just got bounced. Into oblivion. Yeah, it just gotcha. got bounced into oblivion. And no big deal. That's a fan, mana floating right there? This is a blue mana okay. floating. All right. I will spend the blue mana floating and another blue for swift foot boots. I will cast my commander, Unctus. I will put the boots on the Unctus if that's okay. Um, I will cast a Springleaf Drum and I will also cast a Phantasmal Image. I'm going to become, nice. what's its word? What's its name? Brutaclad, bro. Brutaclad. Brodaclad. I am now Brodaclad. We're Brodaclad. Let's Brodaclad. Go. Can I get a, um, I guess I have one here. How do you? Sliver Queen. How do you just shake them up? No, you well, erase it. <laughs> I've anyone. never erased an infinite token in my just... life, okay? <laughs> that would be pretty That'd sweet. Be awesome. That's awesome. You got Why the little knobs on discuss... every single Hold on, one let me of make them. you a token, bro. It's going to take me five minutes. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, and I'll also make a 2 1 bro. And this is a blue creature, which is really cool because uh, is it an artifact creature, too? It is a <gasps> artifact, yeah. It's a it gets it's the best of all worlds. I'm here so for you, it bro. gets the plus one plus one from Unctus, and it's blue. So if I tap it, I get to draw a discard. Dude, it is actually all the things. And it has haste, right? Um, yeah, because this gives all tokens haste. Brodoclad. I then <laughs> taste it. I'm coming at you for three. For three. And I draw a discard. Rude. <laughs> Dude, it's literally like <laughs> built for your deck. That's fine. It was made for me. I'm going to discard an island. All right. Uh, after that, I am done. I'm going to tap three for that chromatic lantern again. Voila. Tap two for the thought vessel. I'll pass. It's a planes. It's a soul ring. Tap in four for Mondrak. Glory Dominus. New card. New card. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many of those tokens are created instead. And then one and two Phyrexia mana. Sacrifice two other artifacts and or creatures. Put an indestructible counter on Mondrak Glory Dominus. It's fine. She has no creatures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She doesn't have artifacts. Then we're tapping five, taking one from City of Brass for Shadrix Silver Quill. Ooh. Um, flying double strike. And there's some combat trigger, so I'm actually gonna move to combat if that resolves. Yeah, I can't stop it. Cool, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may choose two. Each mode must target a different player. I've never seen this in a four player game. Oh, cool. So, um, yeah, the first option is target player creates a 2-1 white and black inkling creature token with flying. I wonder which one she'll take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Second is target player draws a card and loses one life. Third option is target player puts a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature they control. So I'm going to target myself for the 2-1 white and black inkling creature token with flying, and I'll get two of those because I'm a pal Mondrak. Nice. And then for the second target, Blake, how would you like to draw a card, lose a life? That'd be great. We, I want to take this turn. I feel I shunned. Yeah, I would have loved that. It's very but, dangerous for but, you to draw cards, but, my but, friend. But, 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 I've got your Which means it's not dangerous for me, but I'll accept <laughs> Less that because dangerous. I'll draw cards. So. Yes. Thank you so yeah, much for the token. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. I won't attack you this turn for it. Oh, cool. Okay. And then I can't actually attack with anything, so... Just gonna go to my end step and work on discarding. And I will discard the swamp and pass to Blake. I'm gonna play, pay two for an iron mirror. It's just a mirror that taps for a red. Yep, That's no gonna make a, another mirror token. Keep in mind my tokens do have haste because of Brutaclad. All right, I'm gonna spend five mana to use Urtet. So I'm gonna put three plus one plus one counters on each mirror I control. Whoa. If we're cool beans with that. Oh, it's like overrun. Yeah. And then, I'm gonna move to combat. Uh-huh. I'm gonna get a 2-1. Well, what if you didn't? <laughs> what does that even mean? Move to combat? Yeah. You gonna do something you about gonna do it? Something? No, you gonna do I'm something? No, I'm asking you not to. Oh, politely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I'm gonna move to combat. Okay. I'm gonna get another 2-1 mirror. And this one has haste, but no counters. And then we're gonna untap all of my mirrors because of Urtet. All right, I'm gonna move to combat. Yep. CGB. 
Yes. I'm always worried if you get left alone. I wonder why. I don't know. <laughs> Is it because I'm magic? I think it's because you're <laughs> scary. <laughs> And have many, 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 many years of experience. He, he slips through the, the cracks. He lot. sure does. <laughs> I have a feeling this crack, I'm not going to make it through. <laughs> I'm going to attack CGB all out. All out. Oh, all one. of it. Well, that one's all got some right, right. He's tuckered out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So. You don't have to block. <laughs> True. Are there any buffs I'm missing? It's plus one, plus one counters. Plus one, plus one counters across the board. No. Okay. Nope. So this is five and five. Ten. Two. Then there's four. Did you make the creature tokens? Yep. Into they're all. Two these ones? are two ones. So, so these are all fives. fives. Yep. Oh my god. I know. All right. So if I block two fives, I'm still taking one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. And then, like, 20, yeah. five, I, yeah, uh, well, I, I have a response. I'm going to tap my Brodeclad with my Springleaf Drum for a blue mana. I'm going to draw a card, I'm going to discard a card, and I'm going to get overrun by frickin' mirrors. <gasps> Whoa. This is what you get for not mirroring yeah, mirror. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I thought we were, we are Brody clads we no more. We were Brody clads, <laughs> but... It didn't last. It didn't Bro, last. Bro, the problem is if we leave you alone, you're just gonna... I don't know what gives you that impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when has that ever happened? Yeah. CGB's win rate's not, like, nutty. Mm. Continue. Um, I actually think I'm gonna move to my end step. <laughs> and pass it to, to Ben. What? <laughs> Bit it? I didn't say he's dead. <laughs> Bit it? Bit it. That's hilarious. Why Why me? Why do I get <laughs> trashed? <laughs> it changes? No way. Ladies and gentlemen, Mox Topper. Oh, that, yeah, Mox Topper. you the sap. It's so a great good. app. It's, <laughs> you can't have moments like this without that. Not sponsored. Mm, ben, They're just, just great. Right, at Blake's end step. I'm gonna chaos warp. I think you're Brutaclad. I don't like that haste on the tokens. All right. I'll tap like this. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle this bad boy in and then flip it. City of Brass. Nice. To the battlefield. To the battlefield. Now you can hasten your demise. Yes, exactly. No, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, I'll go to my turn then. I'll play the first sliver. Cascade is back. Cascade is back. Would you like to target your own <laughs> sliver with that mana drain, Ben? Nah. Your second mana and your second mana? Maybe. I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. Mm. So you cast it and it goes to the bottom. Or you don't cast it and it goes to the bottom. <laughs> Tap two for the lightning greaves. I'll equip it to the first sliver. Then I will tap two for the crystalline sliver. Slivers cannot be the target of spells or abilities. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> We're flipping for ones and zeros. Let's go, yeah, baby. Let's go. Wow. Hey! hey. Soul <laughs> ring. <laughs> four, four there, Blake? Sure do. Nice. Seven. Bold. Yeah. Against the mirror army? Oh, that's a fair point. Shay, go ahead. <laughs> Good idea. No blocks. Okay. So, tapping eight, or X is six, to cast um, Horn of the Valhalla, but with um, Scard's Call as a sorcery adventure. Create okay. X11 one, one white soldier creature tokens. Oh, nice. Uh. Six one ones? Yes, but they will be doubled because of Mondrick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Spoopy. Oh, you didn't want to do two more? Uh, I have something else oh, planned. Oh, okay. Hello. 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 <laughs> so this goes to Adventure Zone. It's like oh. Command Zone, but it's Adventure Zone. So we'll put it up here. Okay. <laughs> um, then I'm going to tap my Soul Ring for one and floating one for Blade of the Blood Chief. I remember this. Yeah, that one. And then I'll 
Use the one floating from the soul ring and I think I'm gonna put it on my Shadrix Silver Quill. So Blake, I do acknowledge that you took out CGB and that's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So rather than swinging all out at you, I think I am just gonna send my Shadrix Silver Quill at you. First of all though, you have a Shadrix trigger. Yes. Oh yes, you are right. Okay, so at the beginning of combat, I get to choose two of the things on here. I'm gonna choose to target myself with the Flying Inklings. So we'll get two more of those. And then, Ben, would you like to lose a life draw card? I would love to. Okay, I'll target you. Sweet. Now to attacks. Blake, I'm attacking you with Shadrix Silver Quill. How much am I taking? So it is a two five double strike. So four. I'll pass to you, Blake. Cool. I'm gonna spend five mana to use Urtet to put a three plus one plus one counters on each creature I control, each mirror. We're gonna nice. do that. Now I'm gonna spend seven mana and I'm gonna cast All is Dust. Each player sacrifices all colored permanents they control. Oh jeez, that that would do it. All right, I'm gonna move to combat. It's gonna untap these bad boys. Shay. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yep. Shay, I'm gonna attack you for 21. Ben, I'm going to attack you with an 8, 8, and 7, 7, so 15. Okay, I'll take 15, go to 6. Blake and Ben finale. And I will be dead. Woo! You're dead. <laughs> Out of here. Out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious if it's going to be as brutal to Shay as it has been to me. Yeah, yeah no, we can. Yeah, we'll On see. that note, it's your turn, Ben. I'm gonna tap the Thought Vessel for a Mana Vault. I'm gonna tap two lands for a Demonic Tutor. Tap four for that card I searched, Blasphemous Act. Sweep them up. I'm, they're sweeping. All right. I'm gonna tap five for the Hive Lord first. Then I'll equip the Lightning Greaves to him. Rhystic Study. <laughs> Get him. That was super overhyped. <laughs> Uh, five at ya. Go to 12. Your turn, sir. Got it down to the wire. The new synergistic creature themed deck on the block. The mirrors <laughs> versus the established absolute toxic overlords <laughs> of this type of synergy. The slivers. Can Blake pull it off? Or will Ben keep the slivers at the top of the mountain? I'm gonna play an exotic orchard. Sorry, I can't hear dead people, so. Nice. You can tap that for any color. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm gonna pay eight, paying for Ristic Study nice. for Urtet. Cool beats. I'm gonna pay two, paying for Ristic Study nice. for a mere Scrapling. Which is gonna make a 1-1 one, one mirror. It's a baby. A little baby. Mm -hmm. It nice. can sacrifice to put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Go ahead. All right, Ben, oh. you don't untap that Mana Vault yeah. and you're gonna take a damage unless you pay four. Yeah, I'll pay for it. I'll tap five for the Sliver Queen. She's back. Mm -hmm. Tap three for an Opaline Sliver. Uh, all Slivers have whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability and opponent controls, I may draw a card. Sure thing. I will equip the Lightning Greaves to the Sliver Queen. Okay. And then I'll attack for 12, Blake. Bold. I'm luck. Which one? Uh, the 7-7. Seven, seven. Fair enough. Take five. Take five. You may go. Thank you. Haven't seen one this close in a minute. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna play a thousand year elixir. All right, Rhystic Study. Yep, and I will pay for that Rhystic Study. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use Urtet to put three plus one plus one counters on all of my mirrors. Gonna move to combat. It's gonna untap. Best the turn. Tap eight to make four slivers from my sliver queen. Mm -hmm. I'll attack you, Blake. Yeah, all, all right. As much as I can. 14 damage total. I think I'm gonna concede on that because I just have to double chump and then just you deal two and then I just have to chump for the rest of the game. Yeah, so you did it, dude. You got that's there. Sweet. 
Good game. Dude. Wow. That was a close job, one. Ben. Yeah. I should have killed nice Ben job. instead of you, Shay. <laughs> uh, congrats to Ben. Let's find our card of the game. All right, we are back for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. Remember to use the promo code WORST and you can support the show and also get a discount on your order at CoolStuffInc.com. Thank you very much for sponsoring our videos. I gave my card of the game to Phantasmal Image. It's rare that I get to Phantasmal Image multiple things, but I got to be a sliver queen, then I got to bounce that back to my hand using the old school sliver ability that transfers to all slivers. Then I got to be a really cool bro, what was it called? Bro, bro, Brodoclad, Brodoclad. Brodoclad. Yeah. I got to be a really cool Brodoclad. Yeah. It was like perfect for my deck. And then my bro and Brodoclad Cladness killed me. Did it, I do that? It happens. Oh, yeah. uh, but that's my card of the game, Phantasmal Image. I think every blue deck should play it. You never know what you get to copy, and it can be very sweet. Ben, what's your card of the game, champ? <laughs> Thanks. My card of the game was, guess what, a sliver. It was the first sliver, though, not my commander, because that cascade was just so value. Such value. Is there a reason that you use Sliver Queen over first Sliver? Is it just kind of an old school like preference thing? Was this like one of your first commanders? Um, Is there a story there? Not really. I just like the the Sliver Queen's ability. Cascade too yeah. straightforward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it's that you don't. My have to, fault. Kinda. I mean, yeah. I kind of was yeah. the yeah. He gave me the he asked me, and I said Sliver Queen for yeah. more creatures. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, because you can blame me. I do have uh, I do have all the plus one plus one slivers, in the, or at least three of them. I don't know if there's more, but that just being able to make more slivers with buffing them as well just kind of was overall a better game plan. I think. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Shay. Coolstuffing.com card of the game. Yeah, my card of the game is Shadrick Silver Quill. This was really helpful in rebuilding my board and comboed well with Mondrek to get the double tokens. Also kind of fun, a little bit of politicking with like, who wants to draw a card? Yeah. And like, maybe you'll be nice to me. Yeah, yeah, it gave me nothing. I, I enjoyed all of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. And the person you gave cards to killed me, worked out well for you. It was great. Yep, super well. All right, Blake, the master of the mirrors. The what you, Yeah, what did you, what's your card of the game? Mine was all is dust. This card's insane, especially in a mostly artifact deck. It wiped everybody's board, even though he was indestructible. Did some stuff, did some things. I thought the game was over. I thought the game was over too. Yeah. When you revealed that card, I, I thought, thought the it game was, was over. I thought it was over, 100%, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I played like it was, and that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> ben just hiding over there with a demonic tutor Dude. in hand. Yeah. He had all the things. Mm -hmm. I can't believe he still had the demonic tutor in hand. Like, I, I can tell you from being over here, he didn't draw it, he was sitting on that thing, and I, I could not contain, like, I wouldn't be able to control myself. Yeah, me neither. I wanted I'll, to play more slivers. <laughs> <laughs> and you succeeded. I'm gonna give an honorable mention to Mox Topper for the endless digs. <laughs> I've, I've never felt more daggered in my life. Thank you for watching this video. You stayed till the end. That's the number one best thing you can do for the show. Now top it off, hit like, hit subscribe, and on behalf of my friends, Ben and Shay and Blake, you're cool.